We honored Women's History Month by introducing you to incredible women in the Chicago area, making history in big, small, and personal ways. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra capped off the month with a woman who's taking a big brand and changing the communities that are around it. A basketball team with a legendary legacy. The Bulls are a cultural touchstone that helped make Chicago, Chicago. Connecting the franchise with its city is a big job, and it belongs to Erica Bauer, who boils it down to one question. How do you maximize the influence of a sport like basketball with a brand like the Bulls to create a better Chicago? Answering that is her nine to five as director of community relations for the Chicago Bulls. But getting to this job was a journey and you may be able to relate. I think part of that is I had a church upbringing like so many. As a result, I was very other centered, community focused. Early life as a military brat exposed Bauer to different places and disparities from a young age. She was drawn to studying data about health care and education, getting her PhD from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. But it was obvious academia wasn't Bauer's game. It was very clear to everybody that I wanted to be more applied, right? I wanted to be a bridge between the things I was reading and what I was seeing. Finding the right fit took trial and error. It included a postdoc fellowship at the VA Medical Center, then more than seven years with Chicago Public Schools. That was my education to understanding the significant problems and challenges here in Chicago. So when the job with the Bulls popped up, it felt like another zig in her resume of zags. But Bauer was eager to build something new. I went from working on the quote unquote problem side of things to being on the solution oriented side. She started February 2020, right before communities were forced to separate and tensions around race and police boiled. The solution was and continues to be to use the power of the Bulls to give greater access to others. With Bauer's guidance, the franchise is investing in more black owned businesses and working with minority led nonprofits. They're aiming to fight big issues like gun violence prevention and a lack of mental health care by partnering with more than 50 schools on art projects, field trips, even funding iPads. When we get the thank you letters, the change that is happening now for me is enough because that's enough to change history. History is a through line that shows up in Bauer's personal side project too. And I tell people from preschool to PhD, I was educated as a little white boy. Most of us were because of who was designing education and how we continue to do education. Born as a slave, she knew she was free. 1849, she escaped slavery. So she is writing, recording, and performing girl power songs, highlighting black women that change the world in quick but memorable music for kids. My goal is to get in front of as many children as possible. Um, so that they too will grow up knowing more about Harriet Tubman and Bessie Coleman and Rosa Parks than they do about Yankee Doodle um, and Marion her lamb. We asked how she finds the time and she doesn't know either, but hours in a day don't matter if you have the drive. When you feel seen and you feel valued, right, that's what's shaping history. It's been DeRozan. That is Bauer's life work in a big job she never saw coming to impact Chicago in the way she's always wanted. This is a job where I'm able to put all of those things together and yeah, it's a great fit because of that. At the United Center, Marisa Vedra, CBS2 News. To see all of our stories throughout Women's History Month, head to our website at cbschicago.com.